Okay, welcome back YouTubers. Just very quickly I thought I would compare the HP Pavilion side by side with the CR48. As you can see it's actually the body isn't as quite as much bigger as you would expect, but it certainly is bigger. Um, let's do some benchmarks. Let's see what Octane says. Um, I'm sure the results on the CR48 will be painfully slow, but Let's do it for fun anyway. Okay, in case you can't read the screen, it's Richards 4995, Delta Blue 6427, Crypto 5808, Ray Trace 6821, Yearly Boyer 11104, Regular Expression 1400, S Play 2100, Navier Stroke Stokes 6919, PDF.js 4696, Mandrill 4498, GB emulator 4675, code load 4525, and Box2D Web 3054. So the overall score is 4582. So just for fun, let's try the poor old CR48 and see what <laughs> it manages. I'm sure this will take a while. Um, Meanwhile, back in Pavilion, we point at the trackpad. There's that dimple in the top left corner, which I know in the Windows model, it actually disables the trackpad. So I'm tapping it here and I can't get it to do anything. So I don't know if it's meant to do something. And I even checked the user guide, believe it or not. And it didn't say anything. So. Maybe just there for the collection. Okay. Maybe it's some leftover Windows artifact that does nothing. Okay, we can see that poor old CR48 is still struggling along. Struggling to come up with a result. <laughs> and by the way, off camera, the pavilion did apply an OS update. And the fans kicked in, just so you know. And the fans were very loud, I have to say. Very loud, disturbingly loud. So I would say if you put this guy working hard, it's probably going to kick in a loud fan. Anyway, so the result for the CR38, as you can see, is 2027. And for the pavilion, it's 4582. I know that's not really a fair comparison. It would be much better to compare, you know, the Samsung C3 or the Acer C7, but I don't have one. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot.